just want to do a quick uh, update on the garden. Now it's um, sort of the first week in July. And what usually happens in the first week of July is you're going to get the white cabbage butterfly that's going to come along. And it's going to lay its eggs, if it can. If it can land on your greens, it's going to lay its eggs underneath the, the leaves where you can't see them. And before you know it, a couple of weeks later, the uh, eggs will hatch into caterpillars and you'll be left with just skeletons of, of your former vegetable garden. Just the stalks, because they will sort of eat and eat and eat and fill their bellies as much as they can until there's absolutely nothing left of your garden. So obviously what you have to do is put some netting over it. Now, to be fair, this probably won't... There's always ways in, as you can see here, there's sort of a gap here. There's always ways that they can get in, but it does sort of hinder them, so it's not giving them free permission to land at will and just lay as many eggs as possible. So as you can see, you know, it's, it's quite a hot day as it is here, so they should be around, but they've kind of given up a little bit. And although there's probably a few that have got in, it's easy then to just go under the netting yourself and sort of, you know, locate the eggs and sort of crush them slightly, or if they're already starting to turn a bit, to just pick a little bit of the leaf off rather than letting it uh, destroy your hole and all the hard work you've put in. So I just want to show that, and as you can see, the netting there. It's obviously a good idea to put the uh, just some sticks in, some pox on, so that the netting doesn't fall through the uh, fall through the sticks. Keep it away from the uh, tops of your veg, and away you go. And as I say, this is a little update on how it's all doing. It's doing very well. As you can see here, the peas already forming nicely. Quite hard to see them, but they're there. I've already harvested a few of broccoli's coming along really well. We can uh, get in there. So, got some nice broccoli coming on. I've already picked a few of these cabbages because they've come on quite nicely. So, there we have it. That's it for this update. Just a uh, Quick tip really, make sure you put some netting over your veg, otherwise you won't have any left. Oh yeah, already coming on very well. Just thought I'd pop in the greenhouse and uh, obviously add this part to the video. But everything's looking pretty good in here. There's masses of stuff all starting to, starting to form. In another, well, another month, it'll all be red and ready to uh, eat. And uh, keep picking them. I've put some marigolds down there because I've heard off the internet that the smell of them tends to uh, make a few sort of damaging bugs that damage the plants. Uh, they don't like the smell of the marigolds, so they tend to stay out of the uh, greenhouse. I'll uh, update later. Catch you later.